Hi everyone, so today I've done my um, military press, front shoulder press, whatever you want to call it, um, on the Smith machine. Um, I tend to use a real full range of motion so I come right down to my chest. Um, just everything I had as always. Um, what I try to do is I try to control the weight down so it's stressing the muscles as much as I can. I'll take a pause as you'll see completely at the stop, uh, sorry at the bottom of the movement. And then I try to feel the shoulders before I drive right through it. So there's not really an explosion. Whether it looks like that, there's not. I'm, I'm trying to feel that muscle for a millisecond and then I'm just increasing the drive through the motion, keeping myself really tucked tight in the seat and bench. Um, elbow position. We will do a video on this so I can really talk through it for you. Uh, but it's my favourite movement for shoulders. Elbow position is pushed away from my body, just like on the chest press. Very close grip, again, as you can see. Um, I probably come out um, two or three millimetres, literally more so than the chest press. That's all just because the shoulders, if you actually mimic the movement when you do it, it just pushes your, um, your, your elbows and hands out a little bit more. So I just compensate by that with sort of literally only two or three mil on the bar. Um, I just wanted to speak very quickly, I spoke to George about it before, we weren't going to mention it, but just in case the diehards come in with anything about the movement. If you saw my body twist microbly, and it possibly will have done, towards the maybe last one or two repetitions, I've got a little bit of a shoulder issue. Um, it's not from the gym, I know I mentioned something on the sissy. I don't know whether it's how I'm sleeping or what, and nobody really seems to know what it is, whether it's my neck. It's not a problem, I can still do the movement 100%. It's just, it feels like, the only way to explain it, as I explain it to everybody, is it feels like something's raveling up in my shoulder and it's tightening it up. So sometimes, I never cheat, I won't throw, I won't adjust massively, but sometimes I have to just alter my body position, literally probably, it won't even be half an inch, but it's just so that shoulder will keep moving, otherwise it literally just locks up. So I just wanted to mention that in case anybody I don't know whether I did because I'm not conscious of it, so I'll hold myself as best I can, but I may have moved very slightly on the last rep or so, so if I did, apologies for that, but it's down to that shoulder and I have to make sure that I've gone to failure no matter what. So that's basically it really, we'll do a proper video on this at some point, but that's what it's about, um, just pushed as hard as I possibly could um, to failure. We are going to show some rest pauses because sometimes I do do rest pause, rarely because you can't recover from it very well, but I do do it, it's my favourite, I would like to do it all the time, but you just burned you out really quickly. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, let us know as always what you think, if you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to, um, so you get all the videos popping up, you know, when they come up. We have changed the days at the moment, George has changed the days, we're not doing Saturdays anymore, we're doing Friday. Um, so keep an eye out and please let us know what you think and we will keep more coming. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit in with no weight on the bar just to show you exactly how I perform it so then hopefully you can grasp it a bit better. What I do is I have the bench, I don't have it right up because if it's like that you tend to be pushing away from it really heavily which is not what you want for your back. So you just want it slightly back. This seat is okay flat but I tend to have it up um, on the next level up. I don't want it too much up because again as well then it can be pushing you so far back that you're not really able to push, you're trying to get it on other muscles. Okay, so what I do is, uh, as you would see on the set, um, it's a very, very close grip still, um, but probably just a couple of inches, uh, sorry, a couple of millimeters wider than I would do on the chest press. Okay, and then what I'm going to do from there is, what I do is, I lower the bar down, control. My elbows, as you can see, are pushed away from the body. 
till it comes down and it will sit literally on my chest for a second. Then from there, I'm trying to feel the deltoid and then I'm driving straight through, right up to straight arm and I do lock out at the top because I want the absolute fullest range of motion possible. I'm trying to keep my back and shoulders, everything, uh, shoulders down and back and my back really firmly pushed into the pad so I can keep um, everything out of it as much as possible so it's on my shoulders. The reason I'm pushing the elbows away and slightly back if anything is because I'm trying to work the entire deltoid complex as I said before we're trying to get things when you're pushing as hard as this it fatigues you incredibly quick so we're trying to tire everything out in one go so um, a lot of people will push their elbows forward uh, that can really overly stress the front deltoid but I know a lot do it but it really is just hitting the front deltoid and tricep quite heavily then so by me pushing my elbows away I'm hitting as much of the entire deltoid complex as possible. So give it a try. As I said before, we are going to do a video on this. We'll get George to do a proper set for you on there so I can talk through it. Um, and again, just let us know what you think and we'll keep this coming thick and fast. Yeah. 